Hey, what's up, Box Talk Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good today on stuff. I got semi recently in the mail is going to be this Nimona set right here. I actually pulled the Nimona Full Art Standard right there, but the SAR I actually did buy. Bought it. It was a relatively cheap price too, considering what I thought Nimona would be, considering how some of the Scarlet and Violet trends started out this year. Pleasant surprise, Nimona is one of my favorite characters, so it was very nice picking that up. I do wish the Paw Mod on there was shiny, but eh. What are you going to do? Beautiful card, beautiful SAR. Got this from eBay. Thank you, eBay seller. Want to talk about something that I saw because it was a little goofy. I'm still working on a couple other projects. I've been doing other stuff too. Been working on stuff real life. Been doing job stuff. Holiday times is always kind of a fucking stressful time. I'm sure it is for you as well. I hope your holidays are well. Hope you're spending time with family. Hope you're getting some presents. Hope you're doing some fucking good shit. Do your thing, man. I hope and enjoy the time because we don't really get too, too much of that stuff anymore. The world be crazy. Anyway, I want to talk about something that I saw floating around a little bit. It was on Instagram. I missed this whole drop, by the way. Pokemon Center, right? It's where you go to buy Pokemon stuff. You can go get all kinds of stuff right there. Only a matter of time before they expand their actual things. We see a lot more different Pokemon merchandise than we usually get. But until then, you can buy booster boxes, figures. You can buy clothing, all kinds of stuff, right? Plushies, anything your heart desires. Well... I saw a little bit ago, it was like a day or two ago, apparently Pokemon Center put up Sun and Moon booster boxes back up there. Yes, Sun and Moon base set booster boxes apparently were available on the Pokemon Center for a drop. I think a couple other booster boxes there too. I was busy. I didn't see it. Honestly, if I saw a Sun and Moon booster box up there, I probably would have fucking grabbed it. I do like Sun and Moon base a good little bit. I think it's not a bad base set. There's some people that disagree. In fact, a lot of people disagree. They think it's like probably one of the worst Sun and Moon sets completely disagree there's a lot of great things about sun and moon that's actually the first thing i thought when i saw people capping it too like they were actually grabbing that stuff i was like why the fuck is everybody buying this stuff because every time i talk about sun and moon base set it's always like ugh, that garbage set or even when people pull it from their fucking mystery boxes or something like that, that they open up they get a sun and moon base set pack and they're like ugh. and it's like dog there's like rainbow evolutions in there there's rainbow tauros rainbow lapras they fucking brought in a few of the sun and moon pokemon sun and moon as a whole it caters to fucking Kanto lovers. It caters to 151 fanboys. And I have never understood why more of them don't like it. Almost all the regional variants of Alola are just fucking Kanto Pokemon. Like, they almost are. Yeah, some of them are a little goofy, but they're still the same fucking 151 Pokemon. I've never understood it. I've never understood why people are picking up fucking boxes they don't like either. Like, everyone shits all over Sun and Moon base set all the time, but then Pokemon drops some for a relatively good price, and people are all of a sudden like, oh, yes, please. Ching, 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 ching. Like, I guess it's because it's a little cheaper. Maybe they're just going to fucking resell. I don't know. I would have picked one up. I like the actual set itself. The Lapras card in that is goaded, but... I saw it floating around where uh, a day or so has passed. It's uh, actually today now. And I saw stuff that looked like this all over Instagram. Looks like those who ordered the Sun and Moon booster boxes from Pokemon Center will receive a booster box and a refund instead. We apologize to the customers who recently purchased our Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon uh, display box. Unfortunately, we encountered a technical error and the item will be canceled from your order and you will be refunded. If your order has already been fulfilled, you'll get a refund and then your booster display, you'll just receive a free Sun and Moon base set booster pack coming from that and you're not gonna get then they're, they're like man pokemon really needs to get their stuff together and it's kind of like that all over you can actually see the whole thing it's basically the exact same thing you'll find a complimentary pokemon tcg sun and moon pack we were recent tcg sun and moon uh, booster box display encounter technical error and unfortunately has been canceled you'll receive I don't, I don't know if anybody actually got these i don't know if maybe they just had fucking 10 and they're like eh, who's gonna want these i'm not too sure but i've seen several posts just mimicking this where the pokemon center is actually selling that stuff and look I'll say it right now, like, it, it's super cool. They gave, like, a refund. It's cool they're giving out, like, a complimentary boost pack and all that stuff. But very, like, things like this that the Pokemon Center does, it does affect how fucking people are going to come back and look and how to shop in that place, right? Pokemon will drop some stuff back occasionally from previous years. They do it with the figures all the time, like previous holiday figures, previous mood figures. I'm pretty sure you can get a bunch of the Pikachu ones. I saw them up there. There's several figures you can get up there, and a lot of them are pretty cool. I do highly recommend some of them. They're not really that expensive. You get them. They actually feel like pretty good quality most of the time. I will say watch the tails on some of them because some of them are kind of like thin, and they'll be put in like weird places and every once in a while. like You can kind of like accidentally snap one off. Other than that, they're like pretty good quality, especially like the holiday figures. They're some of my favorites. And occasionally, they do put TCG product back up too. But I mean, if you're going to put a fucking Sun and Moon booster box up there and dangle it in front of people and be like, oh, there you go. And then people order it and then you're like, oh, sorry, it was actually a booster pack. That's what we were trying to actually, you know, send out your way, big dog. That's what, like, 
you're gonna affect how people do that stuff pokemon you got to get your shit together like the the actual website itself what you guys have experienced this year the whole van gogh drop like it's just l after l after l when it comes to the actual website with that stuff just fulfilling orders fucking you know not getting enough product where it needs to be it this isn't even the first time i think this has happened this year i, I think like van gogh merch went like it not you you we've talked about van gogh before i'm not going into that shit it does affect how people look at that. That's hilarious, though, that people ended up getting a set that I'm pretty sure most of them ended up shitting on, and then it just got refunded. That that just goes, that's a total Pokemon Center move right there. Common Pokemon Center L is what it seems like lately. They do a lot of good things, and like I said, I enjoy buying figures, some of their clothing. Like, it, it's pretty good, and a lot of that stuff they do, I think, ship things relatively okay if it's not cards or something that's breakable. Like, if it's like a fucking shirt or a plushie, you get it no problem. It's just, I don't know. It's that's definitely gonna affect how fucking people look at stuff like that. Like if you drop Burning Shadows booster boxes on there again, yes, everybody's gonna try to buy those because you gotta take your shot. But if that shit gets canceled too, you better believe there'll be some outraged motherfuckers not getting a chance to get their Rainbow Charizard, not to get their fucking hyper rare. We like this Charizard, and then we don't like this Charizard. It just depends on the fucking mood that day. I don't know. So I got appreciate a virgin. See you later, Pokemon Center. Come on, man, you can do better than that.